Hi, welcome to Karma Fashion TV. I am modeling for La Mole Fashion Designs for bridal wedding dresses. My name is Vanessa Gonzalez and my Instagram is van dot underscore es dot sa. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Karma Fashion TV. My name is Mia and my Instagram is mia dot underscore panetta. Hi, welcome to Karma Fashion TV. My name is Elsie Portillo and my Instagram is elsie.portillo. Hello ladies and gentlemen of Karma Fashion TV, is a heart of fashion. Today we do have a very special guest. I can't believe it, he's here. Oh my God, one of the elegant celebrities, fashion designer around the world. Oh my, I can't believe. Ah! Really, I can't believe. Thanks man for coming. Isham Benz, man, thank you for coming and welcome here at Karma Fashion TV studio. Thank and you It's much. honor for me to come. I can't believe you're here, man. Thank really, you, man. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. My pleasure, really man. It is it. honor, man. It is thank honor, you. man. Your design inspiring the whole world, man. Thank you very Europe, much. Europe, Southern Americans, now Northern, man. Awesome, man. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so my first question is to you. Uh, let's start from the beginning. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Thank you, pleasure. Um, welcome. My name is Hisham Ben Siman. I'm a fashion designer uh, from Morocco. So um, I'm born and raised in Marrakesh, Morocco. And then um, I went to Paris to study fashion, uh, which I was very passionate about since I was very little. Um, and then I always had this vision of um, launching my brand in the United States, especially LA, especially Beverly Hills. So, you slay the um, wrong way, man. Thank you, thank you. So it was like kind of a dream for me, and that was something that I was always so passionate about. And thank God, like with a lot of work and a lot of passion for what I do, um, today I have stores in Paris, London, and uh, Beverly Hills. One of my dreams to dress for you. Super that's exciting. Sad. You look that's amazing, amazing yeah, by the way. You my, look really great. That's my dream. You're rocking you know, that's the my Royals. dream, man. You're rocking the really? Royals. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so yeah, and here I am today um, in uh, Beverly Hills uh, trying to make my brand more of a lifestyle um, for people to embrace more than just clothing. Great. Yeah. So when and how did you decide, okay, this is my career, this is my passion, this is my life, this is my heart, my kidney, you know, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, because you seem, you're not, you're not working, man. You seem someone relish and enjoy for what you do. What have you done, man? Tell us! Uh -huh. So, um, like, the passion for, uh, for fashion, I had it since a very young age, since I remember I always used to, like, um, like take the curtains and make dresses out of it. and. Um, Sorry to my parents, by the way, like I was such a pain because I used to like use their curtains and like uh, the sheets to make dresses. Um, when people was in school, like um, paying attention to the teacher, I used to like draw and like make sketches. So that's something that I feel like I was born with. So it was not a time where I felt like, okay, like now I know I like fashion. That's something that I just always liked. Um, for the fact that I, it seems like I'm not working, it's 
just because I have so much fun in what I do that it seems like it's all like glam and glitz and all the fun. But believe me, there is like so much hard work behind um, behind whatever I do. There is so much. I believe um, it, man. I believe there's it. There's so much hustle. There's so much sweat. Struggle, there's yeah, so it's much not tears. Easy, yeah. Um, yeah, nothing great comes you easy. You have a patient, man. So it's exactly. Not easy, yeah. So um, that's an industry that's very, very hard. Yeah. And uh, for for you to succeed in the fashion industry, you really need to love it more than anything. So that's. Uh, but I'm so glad that you think um, it looks easy because that's that's the goal. If you're passionate about what you do, no matter how hard it is, um, your passion look makes it look easy. That's great. So what's uh, an inspiration behind your outstanding and ravishing success in US, in Europe, Paris, Middle East, Southern America, Northern America? What's an inspiration behind this, man? Well, I think what I'm bringing different to the table is that I don't like to follow the rules. I don't like to follow the trends. Just be out of ordinary. Exactly. Just be creative so, by yourself. Exactly. So I'm not going with what sells. I'm going with uh, what I truly believe uh, like I should make so and that's why I always refuse to have any investors or any uh, like being part of any big companies because those companies will tell you the rules to follow or the designs that's gonna make the mass so the mass was never my goal and um, I think the reason is just people embrace this vision that is kind of different than what you see out there. Um, where I try to um, make it like more of like a fashion fluid kind of kind of uh, kind of clothing, where like ladies can wear it, men can wear it, and embrace it. And there is no like before Swarovski's or sequin, like men was like, oh no, like I would never. Um, but I'm like, why? Like we should, we still can be a man, we still can be manly, we still can be, like that doesn't take anything away from you, but it makes you look awesome and it makes you look uh, more stylish and if you like it, why not? So, and I, I love the fact that there's so many people that embrace it more and more and I think that's what makes the difference and that's why people are all over the world embracing it and I'm so grateful and blessed for that. That's awesome, man. Um, that's really inspiring me to, Thank you. to, to me also Thank you. and for the audience. Uh, is there any specific fabric, is a type of fabric you, that you often use, or any specific uh, embroidery that you often use in your design? Um, I, there is nothing like specific that I use all the time. I get inspired uh, each season, and uh, each part of my life inspires me for something different. Like for example, lately I'm very inspired and very in love with the leather. So, and I'm so glad it's back. Actually, uh, back on. Uh, uh, the runways because that's a, that's a fabric that represents so much for me like that represents strength and it represents like a warrior and um, Like power and I like that that's so empowering to whoever wears it like you feel like all of a sudden like more like strong and like more powerful and you can like face things and like leather you see it always in those warriors uh, outfits and it's kind of cool. That's awesome man. Is there any uh, activity or specific activity to your hobby uh, beside your design that encourage you in your personal life and in your career? Um, I get really inspired by uh, my travels, Tra like, like travel. traveling. Uh, so, what's a favorite country you went? My favorite country will be Greece. Greece, yeah. Yeah, I, like I Greece. loved Greece and it inspired me so much. Also, Turkey was a really you good destination too. Yes, you like height. and I love nature and those like that inspires me for colors and cuts and fabrics and also cultures. It's kind of very intriguing and interesting to me to see new cultures and how people look at fashion and I kind Open of your like mind, yeah. yeah, and I kind of like uh, mix and match it with the whatever like society or whatever environment I'm designing for and that mix is just so beautiful so I also get inspired a lot by like my friends and my that's why you're creative uh, man as well no like, one done like you man. yeah thank you thank you so like th there is a combination of so many things that actually inspires me to bring um, like pieces and fashion into life that's yeah. awesome okay well, that's the last question we're going for break uh, what's your favorite style icon Oh, that's a hard question. Um, right on top of my head, I would say Naomi Campbell. Uh, I really like her, and that's uh, that's been an inspiration to me for for a long time. Um, there is also another style icon that I really like right now, and I like what she's bringing 
to uh, the world and she's breaking the boundaries and what we're used to. Uh, her name is Lizzo. Lizzo. She's really, really cool. Uh, she's a singer. Um, I like her style and I like what she's doing with the whole like plus size fashion and how she's embracing her curves. That's like very inspiring. Okay, that's awesome. So we're going for break. Okay, guys, stay tuned with the elegant celebrities fashion designer Hisham Benz at Karma Fashion TV. There is no I can say. It's out of my control. Stay tuned. Sometimes we can do things that exclude others. You're still talking to your friends. It's complicated. I think he went back in. We gotta go get him. Welcome to Jumanji! Even the smallest words and actions can have a big effect on someone. You have the skills. Because of you, someone's entire day, their year, or their life can change. Remember, the future is in your hands. Visit becauseofyou.org to learn more. Totally! Let's do it! Hello, ladies and gentlemen at Karma Fashion TV. Welcome back with the elegant celebrities fashion designer, Isham Benz. How are you, man? Hi. Thanks for coming back here from break. Thank you. So my next question is to you. You design a name called Royal Paris. Mm -hmm. And what does it mean that to you? And why do you call it in that name? So the name came from, um, well, going back to, I went to, um, my whole education was French. And then okay. I had my... Uh, fashion studies in France. Mm -hmm. So in France, when you see something like amazing, extraordinary, something out of the norms, you like in an amazing way, you say c'est royal. So that defines like a style and a lifestyle together. Mm -hmm. So um, and that's what I do. Like I like to um, when somebody wears something, like feel royal. Um, and that's where the name came from. Uh, we, uh, like me and my partner, decided to um, name it that because, first of all, we are people behind the brand. You had a partner and, uh, before. Uh, correct. And uh, now I have an amazing business manager that uh, goes into the same uh, like kind of uh, lifestyle that the brand is going to. Um, and yeah, so that's where the name comes from. And what's amazing is that uh, whenever like people wear my design, people will be like, oh my God, you look royal. And without even knowing what the, the brand name you is. You look royal, so you're the king. Of, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so as you are design, mm -hmm. do you believe, uh, do you have a favorite season to desi design for? Uh, it depends, but I really like to design for winter. I like winter. layers. I like layers. to. You like uh, cold? I do. I do like uh, layers. I like fabric. I like to mix and match. With summer, it's amazing as well, or spring, but it's just there is limitation to what you can do with the fabric because, mm -hmm. like, it's less fabric. That's and right. I like I like layers and fabric, and to uh, I like coats, I like fur. Um, it's not just real taking fur. too much time, man. Yeah. Uh, it's really a big effort, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, like if you're passionate about it, it's just all yeah, fun. Yeah, it's inspiring. So, you are one of well-known and famous outstanding and fashion designer around the world. You did work with celebrities around the world. You did work with a red one, Jenny Jackson, uh, Eva Lingoria, Chef Khalid, man, you're rocking. The earthquake, each fashion show, man, you slay the Thank you, thank you. So, so your success, how do you keep your success persistent? Uh, well, first of all, like, I've been uh, very lucky to have a really good relationship with all of the names that you mentioned. Um, and uh, more, my designs will, will show on the red carpets and the runway, the more um, celebrities and uh, people from the industry embrace my style more and more, which is priceless um, for somebody like me in the industry. Uh, for me to keep uh, 
my work persistent is it's a combination of a lot of things. It's a combination of uh, the love and passion that I have for what I do. And also because I've been very lucky to be uh, surrounded by a very supportive family, very supportive friends, um, and also a very supportive partner that would like to uh, say hi to him from here. His name is Red One and he's uh, the business manager. I'm a big fan. The, I'm a big fan of him, man. Thank you. So um, he's a business manager of the, the brand and he's, uh, he's been very supportive as well and very inspiring to me. Awesome, man. So, so what's your fashion, what's your favorite, like a fashion trend? What is it related to you, to your past in a fashion in, in a past? My favorite fashion trend, I'd say, um, and I've been very known for that, is the harness. Harness. Yeah, I like, um, I like harnesses. Like, I like to make it in different uh, styles and different fabrics, and um, I just have so much fun doing it. And I think it's because it has, uh, like, this, it rhymes for me with the uh, safety. It rhymes for me for power, for, um, like, um, motivation that's like what a harness for me is like whenever you see like a warrior like wearing his harness and going to war like he's so determined he's so like uh, empowered and that's what um, that's the definition of a harness to me and that's why I went and uh, just been so creative with with this whole like harness situation every collection I'll like bring it up in uh, in different uh, styles like this one is the yeah, gold like of skis which is uh, idry, you done it, man. which That's is uh, pretty cool sick when you yeah. done it oh, it's really thank you inspiring man it's I'm not only beautiful like it. it's really inspiring man. thank you uh, do what's uh, what do you think uh, uh, in, in your perspective uh, is what do you think you think uh, everyone should own it in, in their wardrobe stylist and uh, and their personal life stylist um, I mean to each his own honestly I just uh, part of like the brand and part of what I do is like trying to help people find like what they love and their their uh, what makes them feel good you know so I would that won't be a generality but I would say to like uh, see what makes you feel good and don't worry about like what people think about like what you're wearing or the judgment if you feel Just good think positive and exactly yeah. but like whatever you put if you feel good people will look like people will see it good on you yeah so I, it's all about how you clothes, exactly yeah, yeah, so you that's how you embrace whatever you're yeah. you're wearing so there's nothing specific that you should have there is no book that says you need to have mm. like this specific pants or this specific shoe uh, it just depends on what you want to wear you know so that's that's the secret that's the key there is no rules to that awesome so what advice if you would go back to say it when yourself when you're just starting out uh, the advice I would give to myself is do not worry um, just like believe in yourself just yeah, like think positive ju yeah just and just be in your own road exactly and um you know just don't think too much ahead you know live the moment that's 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 how i feel like the this entire generation uh is missing is that i feel like we don't live the moment that much and we're always looking forward to what's next and to what uh to what's coming and to what might happen uh and it's when i look back at it i feel like it's just so much of like wasted time and it's so unfortunate that we miss out on so much that's happening right now when we're looking yeah. uh, so much ahead in a, in a world of course yeah. yeah so and what's your tips to for each generation holds the world uh, my tips when it comes to the fashion is honestly just like if you're passionate about it, yeah. if that's what you like, if that's what you love, don't let anyone uh, take you away from it. Like I've had, uh, I'm born and raised in Morocco and I've had a whole like society that tells society. me no, that tells me that fashion is not a real job, that fashion is not a, like, it's such a competitive industry and yeah, what are you gonna go like competing with like Chanel and Dior and all that, but like I've had a dream so big that uh, none of these voices matter to me and that's what I, that's my advice to everyone, like if you love what you do, no matter what industry you're in, no matter what uh, fashion you're about, like if you feel like you just need to like pursue that versus 
listening to what's around you, what sounds logical to them versus you. Mm, that's awesome. So that's the last question, and we're gonna wrap that interview. So what can we expect to see next from you? Man, rocking us, man. What's new? Go, oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> thank you. There is like a lot of, um, there's a lot of things going on right now. Yeah. Um, there is like, uh, I'm looking into different locations, different locations. to open uh, the Royals. And also there is a commercial that means so much to me uh, that I've been shooting. I want to work with uh, you, man. <laughs> you're welcome anytime. You're welcome anytime. Yeah, I was saying like I was working with this amazing group that of friends of mine that I really, really uh, love and appreciate so much. And I feel like we all put our hearts in it. I want to be part of this group. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, they are amazing, believe awesome, me, and man. they are, they are yeah, really, I can see really this. good. I can see that energy. You guys, as a teamwork, you, yeah, you created. Yeah, yeah. And we, we made something super special, and it's going to come out very soon. And it's a, it's a two-minute commercial, um, and they just like have this kind of a story that is very personal to me, awesome. but also showcasing the clothes and awesome. uh, everything else. So, um, yeah, I cannot wait to share that with the world, actually. So awesome, man. Awesome. That's man. something that's to look forward to. You know, to. I can't believe you came here today, and that's really humble from you and down to the earth, Thank man. You. Really, Thank man. you for and having me. Really you guys have a really positive energy in every war, man. And so. Thank you, thank you for thank your time. You, thank you for and, having me. Uh, really, my pleasure, man. It it's is on awesome. behalf of Karma Fashion TV. Okay, guys, uh, stay tuned uh, to more to come at Karma Fashion TV. I can't say anymore. It's out of my control. Stay tuned. Okay guys, this is the best version of stylist over here. Thanks for here for coming to Fashion TV. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You guys have a source of inspiration for all generation out the world. Really inspiring. And um, okay, hope we we'll collaborate today on the Ghana Rags Award today. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Stay tuned guys. Thank you guys. so much. Guys, kids over here guys. I can't believe it, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's an honor for me to have you here. Really, man. I can't believe it. Ah! Sweet. Thank you very much. Really, man. So, which side are we going? This way? Yeah, this way, sir. Thanks. Pleasure, sir. Okay, after you. Uh... Uh, she's sitting about three feet from about two inches taller than you. Yeah, well, and, 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 uh, Probably taller than either of us, so we'll have to. I don't have issues with this. How's everyone doing? They ready? Relaxed, happy, ready. That's one way to put it.
Fashion TV, Season 2, Episode 2, Segment 2. Yeah, Are you able to give it to No, no, no. I'll give it to her. I get it, I get it. We are more than thrilled to welcome Hisham Benz today at LA Fashion Week. We hope you enjoy the show. Stay tuned for more at Karma Fashion TV. Literally, I'm not going to 